What is going on guys, today we are looking at Ricardo Rodriguez, the freeze card from the last set. And I thought, you know what, I've already done the review for him, I just needed to do the commentary. He is a very cheap player at this point, he's coming in at about 18k on both consoles, and honestly, there really isn't that many CMs that are coming in at that price, or CDMs in fact, at that price, in terms of the Serie A. So I thought, let's get him down, we'll see how he is, and basically what you can expect from him. So let me know down below, who is your CDM currently in your FIFA 21 Ultimate Team squad? So if we do have a look at Rodriguez, he obviously was a 78 left back, having some pretty good upgrades, to be honest. Going into a CDM, I feel like he works quite well. He's 5 foot 11, so not the smallest player. Got a little bit of meat on him. Really, really good kind of like uh, tackling player. He's freestyle, freestyle, which... Yes, I, I don't. I don't personally agree with. I do like a, a four star at the very minimum. With a CDM, I think you can get away with the skill moves. I'm not expecting too much from him. It's always an added bonus, but I think the weak foot is definitely important for me. In terms of pace, 75, which is something we definitely will be having a look at to try and increase 72 shooting we can kind of disregard because cdm i don't need him up the pitch i have other players for that passing wise very nice very well rounded 82 in the overall mainly being kind of downgraded by the 72 vision but we have got 84 short and long we've got 88 free kick accuracy which personally I didn't get a chance of looking at just because free kicks are very hard to come by he is obviously as well uh, left footed i did forget to mention that one 86 curve in terms of dribbling balance and agility it's always going to be the case a little bit on the lower side high 70s but again not always the most uh, amazing stat on some of these cdms we have got 87 composure which is a banging um, stat to have i think that is a very very important one in terms of a cdm you want him confident you want him composed you want him to be able to make sure that he's going to be your almost last line of defense he's got 82 ball control 80 reactions again they're good 80s but i mean as in they're not amazing amazing he is only 18k so you've got to put everything into retrospect you're not buying a 500k 100k cdm he is literally almost discard value in terms of his price in terms of defending 85 very very nice head and accuracy is a little bit lower but if we are to put a shadow on him obviously that should go up only by plus five but it does go up we we do put a shadow on him we get an 88 cdm for 18k i think if you're looking at icon swaps if you're looking at potentially a fun serie a squad builder then definitely this card is the one to go for i think for me cdm wise suits him down to the ground with a shadow we get 85 pace as well and he already has 83 physicality which to be honest he seems like he has more was very well rounded when it comes to tackling and his strength so let's go into some gameplay and show you what he can do so in terms of rodriguez honestly was a very very fun team to play with he played a very nice part in the kind of cdm role did really well in terms of defending physicality of him and just overall tracking of the ball and i just think what helped was the team was just working so well together we had a mobile we had the road to the final career obviously i did um complete him during the one league which is the icon swap so it was just a lot of fun there was a it's, it's probably one of my uh, f funnest funnest uh, objectives to do in terms of the league and in terms of the icon swaps just because it just felt natural the team felt well uh, well worked everyone was in the right position a mobile was incredible we see rodriguez absolutely owning someone there and it just continues to go forward we see martinez doing really really well and just overall just a fun bit of gameplay and i think rodriguez for 18000 coins you'd be stupid not to try him out at the very least so if we do go into rodriguez like i say 18k practically it is fluctuating a little bit up and down to 19 but he's not going any more than that obviously it's only 9000 or 8000 coins a above his minimum uh, kind of discard price so for me it kind of tells me that a he's not necessarily the greatest demanded player but in terms of you look at the kind of Serie A if we just quickly go to them in terms of CDMs there really isn't any the CMs like Kadir is probably the closest but was an SBC so if you haven't finished him then obviously you don't you can't get him anymore Milinkovic great CM you've got Gomez uh, Luis Alberto is more cams Vidal again CM um, other than that nine golems a cam 
We've got a couple of gold CDMs. I, t I just don't think they, they cut it. I think the closest person you can come is probably Kessie. And even then, I prefer him kind of going up the pitch rather than down it. And that's about it. There is no real CDMs in this league. And I think Rodriguez will hold that position really well. And I think what, what a formation would be nice. If you're quite a narrow formation with a 4 one 2 one 2 second ver variation, you could have two CMs, nine Golem. You could have Vidal. You could have Kessie as the kind of two CMs that do drop back and use the kind of defensive uh, kind of outlet as well. But then you also have the cam in someone like Gomez, who is a very, very good attacking player. But if you kind of stay away from that now and have a look at kind of like his own team, I don't think there's many other than Ansaldi, who was an SBC. I believe he is gone now, so you can't unfortunately get him again. But that was a nice link. If you've got loan version, then you can obviously link them two up in friendlies. And in terms of Swiss Switzerland. Again, it surprised me. I forgot how many players there was. A nice Zachariah road to the final who has now got an upgrade. You've obviously got Sommer as an inform, a Kanji as a second variant, El Verdi, another great te uh, team at a group stage. So you can have like almost a nice five goalkeeper, two centre backs, and two CDMs. It worked quite well. And Babu is a right back. There's plenty of players that you can link him with. You can box him in as like a Switzerland link with Zachariah and Babu and a Kanji absolutely incredible so i think personally they're coming along nicely just need a few more kind of midfield slash attacking players going forward that would be really nice to link him in a switzerland team but in my overall opinion i think if you are a looking for a Serie a cheap squad he's definitely got to be in it if you're looking for more icon swaps i think he's got to be in it i think cdm wise he's probably one of the better ones and yes i think a lot of people will kind of disregard this and go with someone like kessie and just play him cdm anyway and push forward with him but i'm talking about rodriguez being the sole defender i like personally having a cdm that stays in the defense and then my attacking players i've got normally um, two cams or three cams depending on what formation i'm playing and then my two strikers who are all pushing up and pushing back whereas rodriguez for me would be that complete holding mid a holding midfielder who is not going to push up too much if he does it may be kind of like i've pushed him up myself and someone's dropped in but for me i'd kind of just pass it away leave him to that defensive role with a shadow on and he's a quality player i think for eighteen thousand coins a nice cheap beast let me know down below what you think make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you for the next one peace